It's been what? Half a year now. You heard me. It's been over half a year, hasn't it? Oh, all right. I didn't ask for specific smarty pants. I know it's only been over a month since I successfully managed to kidnap and imprison you here. Of course, I can't take all the credit. I did have a little bit of help. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm a super villain. Of course, I'm gonna take all the credit. I bet the rest of my team may have leeched off me already. Selfish prick. You didn't hear anything. All I need from you right now is an answer. Oh, I, come on. I'm sure you can stop bawling your eyes out for one minute to give me an answer. Oh, I don't know. I thought I'd just swing by out of the kindness of my heart. Oh my god, can you please take a hint? I was being sarcastic. Look, can you please just explain to me why a whole month has passed and no one, not a single soul, has passed by or even make an attempt at the rescue operation? Watch it. You're still my prisoner, remember? You ought to be glad I'm taking extra steps to ensure your well-being. Had it been anyone else, you'd have been a rotting skeleton weeks ago. I, j I just don't understand it. I mean, I know we pull classic deception and misdirection tactic to nab you, but still. I know they will at least notice you went missing. Especially by now. What do you mean they knew from the start? Somehow I don't believe you. Dance? Buddy, do you know who you're talking to like that? Even through your tears, you are quite a bold one, aren't you? You know what? No, I'm not gonna kill you. And unlike some of my colleagues, I prefer to get the answer I need in the most humane way possible. Now don't be mistaken, I can and will urge you. But I'm not going to go over the top, regardless of the situation. I still see you as a valuable asset. Hmm? Are you calling me a liar? Listen here, nerds. I can be many things, but a compulsive lie is not one of them. Now, I obviously can't tell you everything, but rest assured, whenever I say something, I mean it. It's honesty, brutal honesty at that. And I am being brutally honest when I say I'm very confused as to why no one on your team has made an attempt to free you from my clutches. You say they won't come. But I can't help but to feel that they may have at least tried beyond my knowledge. Who knows? They could be part of some gratuitous plan to gain inside knowledge about us. There's no need to deny it. I deal with this type of situation far too many times before. Let me guess. A listening device of some sort that was implanted in a way that none of the scanners could have picked up. No? There may be a drone. Did a camo mode or some kind of secretly watching and recording us? No. Okay, then a double agent. No, wait a minute. Are you the double agent then? As stupid as my sound, that has happened before. I one time kidnapped someone who I thought was the Prime Minister of Australia. I soon realized I had kidnapped a double agent working for some organization looking to bring down the continent. How do I know? It sh should be obvious from the start. They never once even used their anti-gravity manipulation powers to escape my temporary holding cell at the time. Almost everyone and their mothers know that Australia is the best place for the supers who may gain some form of gravity manipulation power. I mean, for crying out loud, there was a popular video going around that shows a guy moonwalking underwater. Upside down for that matter. Do a background check and guess where they from. None other than freaking Australia. 
Anyway, following that counter and many others once here about the place, I vowed to never venture alone there again. Enough of that, now let's get back to you. Why are you still here in my cell? It's been over a month. If you're going to escape even without the help of your friends, you had plenty of time to do so. <laughs> oh wow. And here I'm calling you nerd. Oh, for the love of things, Smarty Pants, things. Why would I go off my way to kidnap someone like you? No. No. If you just establish that I'm not trying to hurt you, maybe that's your skill power. Continue to push people buttons unnecessarily. So now you decide to apologize. <sighs> I personally prefer your continual snarky talks and back talks. Look, I am not a masochist. It just makes sense. It's not as a silly thing when the hero decides not to show some form of resistance. It's like kicking a baby. I might be a villain, but have lost my soul or my sense of humanity. I'm pathetic. Well, you're not wrong. It's just better for me not showing it to you often. No, for a supposed genius, you ask a lot of dumb questions. But the answer is simple. A lot of evil doers believe that having any kind of emotional is from weakness. On the other hand, maybe some of your colleagues have taught you that being emotional is a good thing. Compared to the other side of the coin, they are not wrong. But they are not right either. Let me read you this. When you see a hero, one whose power is filled by the anger. What do you see? Some may see a hero, utilizing their anger for good. Other will say they see a dangerous weapon. One is left unchecked could become catastrophic and, or borderline, destructive. So let's leave the question. Who's right? Correct. Either you're a fast learner or you are trying to play me for a fool. But anyway, yes, both are right. So, what's the difference? Exactly. Empathy. In other words, empathy is one of the main factors changing one's perspective on things. Whether you may empathize with the hero with the anger issue or not, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's two sides of the same coin. Good or evil, light or dark, hero or villains. It's no difference. Just a matter of who has more empathy for others. You seem to find that humorous. I am philosophical at times, but philosophy isn't my major. Speaking of expectation, with all that wailing you was doing, I expect you to be more of crybaby without any nerves or spine to call your own. Tell you what, I'm going to concede. I will release you from this prison only if you can explain and convince me as to why it's taking so damn long for my nemesis, aka your teammate. For them to just swing by and then at least attempt to bust you out. Judging by the look of things, I say we have plenty of time. <sighs> Can't say I'm surprised. What kind of kid in this day and age won't be inspired to become hero and save life for every goody two shoe cliche thing they are doing? Uh huh. Go on. An incident. I see. Lieutenant Fate. Of course. Who could forget a face like that? He took you in personally. It makes sense. You do seem awfully young. I'm sure it was amazing. Until... How could anyone forget it? Once it was revealed that the lieutenant was no more, it felt as though the whole world froze momentarily. You mean my nephews? He did what? I knew it. That scoundrel. Nothing, just keep going. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, sure, I'm French to death. <sighs> Give me a break. Really, I bet it was a huge shocker. It's not like we're just going to give you all a break. We are trying to gain some victories under our belt as well. What do you mean? What? Did he hit you or something? I see. What? Did he hit you or something? I see. You have intrigued me. And thus have gained my full attention. I keep going, you mentioned that my nemesis was especially hard on you. Harassing you verbally. What was it left you out of such a mission? Kept ignoring you. Replace you? What made you say that? So who did he supposedly replace you with? Wait a minute. Stop right there. As you're telling me all this, I can't help but to connect some thoughts. Tell me something. They already have an idea about our scheme, correct? The one that led to your capture. You know that think about it, they must have planned on using you as a bait. It would certainly make the replacement process a lot easier, would it? It seemed clear you weren't exactly in on it. I knew it. That son of a... <sighs> I shouldn't be surprised. It seemed no matter what, he always sought to see and blame me for a fool. Always one step closer when I'm one step away. It's already bad enough that you, my nemesis, are the reason why I'm in this predicament in the first place. Hmm. Oh, jeez. There they go again. Wait a minute. Maybe, just maybe I can make use of this wish. <laughs> you fool. You just give me your ultimate weapons. The perfect means for your undoing. If I can convince the nerd to join us, I can finally be one step closer to exacting my revenge. From what I hear, they obviously have no need for them, or so they foolishly thought. Still, this won't be easy. The current state they are bound to decline. All they need is a little convincing. Hmm. Hey, wipe your tears. I said earlier that I will release you. However, I will have to give you a new proposal before I can even consider it. I can and I will. As you know, I have been making multiple attempts to exact my revenge on my nemesis. Your former boss was quite some time. Yes, you heard me. Your former boss. You catch on quick. But I have my reason. All you need to know is that you could very well be the final piece that I need for my goal to be complete. Isn't it obvious? You said yourself. Your boss wanted nothing to do with you anymore once Lieutenant Fate was gone. After all, he did abuse you. It doesn't matter if he didn't hit you. He verbally abused you. Look, abuse is abuse. The only difference is you've been hurt psychologically, rather than physically. Mentally health is just as important as physically health. What he did was not okay. He took your lifelong dream and make it into nightmare. A nightmare, thanks to, to him, may haunt you for the rest of life. Not to mention, he left you here. With me, of all people. You can't deny the fact that it's been a month since you've been here. If they really did care, they would have been back for you. Maybe you don't see it, but I know that dumb days of feeling of rage that dwell inside of you. The rage of a broken hero. I can empathize it in a way, because I too feel the same way. I know deep down, you just want to prove yourself to that jerk.
<laughs> it's him I have a phone call. I give you some time to think this over. Oh rock. This better be important. Yes, I'm in the middle of something. Now tell me. Don't you dare beat around the bush. Dr. Zikavos? What is she working on? Go on. <sighs> I'm not surprised. This is my nemesis you're talking about at all. What? They did what? Well, this changed things. I know that. Not exactly. Let's just say I found a replacement. Perhaps someone who was once behind the enemy lines. You'll see soon enough. So, there been a bit of a sudden change. Our good friend Dr. Zico Boss, well, let's just say my nemesis have put her out of commission. No, commenters. Although we can't be sure for how long, at least she's still alive. She's one of the more admirable brains of the bunch from our ends. And with her being nearly out of the picture, this does put us at a disadvantage. But with you, we might change that. You are right. You will be seen as a replacement. But bear this in mind. You will be helping yourself out too. How? It's like I said, this could be the only chance to enact vengeance, to provoke him and yourself that you're more than a replacement. Who knows? You might be able to convince me as well. <sighs> I know I'm not exactly the most friendly type of person here. My words are harsh but are not cruel. I can be many things, but a compulsive lie is not one of them. In case you don't believe me, then just ask my colleague that I work with. They often bash me for my unfiltered truth. And consider this, your current living conditions aren't ideal, but they are far cry from being inhumane. Even though I threaten you and said some unpleasant thing, has I ever actually hit you? No, I haven't. Although I must confess it was a possibility. That I thought during the early days here, I presume that the sign of your life being threatened will help speed up the process. Now that I know the truth, however, it will have been a complete waste. So tell me. So tell me. Do you accept my offer? Very well. Name them. Just to prove yourself worth. What else? I thought we already established that, but go on. Of course, anything else? That's it for now. What does that even mean? I see. Well, in case, now it's my turn. First and most importantly, you must do exactly as what I said. Just because I'm reasonable, doesn't mean you're safe. If you're looking to dig an early grave, then simply ignore me. I'm sure the other will waste no expense fulfilling that wish. Second, if anyone were to ask, inform them that I told your former friends and teammates that I killed you. And you will presume that. Although, if we're going to be honest, I'm sure my nemesis must have hashed out the same excuse as to your teammates. That is all for now. If there's anything else, I let you know. <laughs> yes, I did use the same trick you just pulled. So, do you accept? Good. You're quite impatient, aren't you? The restroom? Why did you just use the stone there? Clock? Since when? Why did you st Why did you just say something sooner? I could have easily called Plumber, maybe even the cleaner. 
they are surprisingly good at household maintenance. Alright, give me a second. Sorry, but can't have you running all willy nilly around here. Now follow me. Here we are. Oh, and do us both a favor and don't try to make an escape attempt in there. Trust me, I know. <sighs> it occurs to me that I'm practically their babysitter. Even though I've been doing that for basically a month. How will I manage? Because now I finally have a chance. Chance to make you regret for what you did to me, my nemesis. <laughs> Just you wait. The poor fool won't even know what hit him 